what is it that you know really sort of um, inspires you about the future of the, the connected car? Thanks, Joe, and thanks for having me. And I think I'm just going to kind of take off from where Rajesh left. He talked about the five pillars, so-called the emerging, you know, uh, automobile space. And I think they're not just five pillars; they're also five pivots, uh, because none of these five actually were as crucial or important even five, seven years ago. So I think the way we think about this space is that there is a new driver in your cars, guys, and it's not you; it's the software. It's the new driver in the driverless car. And every business, you know, as we know it, has is making a big pivot towards, uh, you know, being a digital business and being a consumer business. And I think brands better step up in understanding who your true consumer, you know, is, what they really want, and they want nothing but a highly personalized, highly adaptive, uh, highly feature friendly, easy to use interface, service, product, anything they can think of, right? From banks to insurance companies to retail to media to to cars. Now we are seeing that play across every industry. So I think the big pivot really is, uh, you know, the, the big move towards adoption of software. Just to give you a data point, there is the number of lines of code in a car even today is more than the number of lines of code required on a bank. Yeah, just digest that for a minute. Uh, and I think we're required, headed to a future. Required to run a bank, did you say? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I thought I misheard that. No, run a bank. Absolutely. So I think, uh, and, and where we are headed, of course, you know, we've seen some industry leaders adopt that software mindset really, really quickly. And the whole car really is connected uh, over the air, everything, you know, functionality over the air, very iterative, put the consumer in the middle of everything you do. So so I think the whole front to back thinking that, that we pioneer an emphasis that we're taking to multiple industries, the ability to think of the car really as a platform that connects you to the consumer and deliver everything in a smart software manner. And hence, I think, you know, from being a petrol head, I don't know what I should call myself going forward, but truly the new driver in the driver list car really is your software. So my question is really, if you look at um, the connected car, you know, when I think about, for example, autonomous driving, how, uh, you know, just a couple of years ago, um, CEOs were telling us the level four, level five is just around the corner. Now those projections have been pushed down the road. What are the limiting factors that you see in this, uh, the adoption of this technology and what could accelerate it? Nitin, perhaps you want to jump in on that. So Joe, I'm going to start by saying that I think it's, uh, you know, Goes goes back on you know about 100 years since technology became you know part of daily life. But I think we have a tendency to overestimate the impact of tech in the short run, and un underestimate the impact of tech in the long run. And I think that's what's going to happen here, right? So the let's not go by the the level four, level five being pushed out by a few years. I think in the larger scheme of things, there's been some really rapid exponential you know change in the industry, and I think we're still in the early stages of that exponentiality, both from adoption. Uh, compute power, ability to drive change, and most importantly, the exact opposite opposite side of the curve is the is the cost per unit keeps dropping. I think we've seen that play out in the battery side. We'll see that play out in almost every aspect of the connected car, from software to sensors to to of course the battery itself. So I think uh, absolutely right that we are still in early stages. The impact that is having on the multiple you know segments linked to auto. Remember, auto is one of the most uh, economically you know, significant contributors to, to most, you know, many global economies, uh, you know, auto sales are a lead indicator, so on and so forth. But I think the impact that this is having on industries as in, not just auto, but simple as, you know, uh, finance, insurance, fleet management, uh, you, you just name, you know, one after another, we, we can see the impact it will have on a rolling basis on multiple industries. I think from that perspective, connected cars isn't just about the car industry. It's actually about a number of other macro industries that get impacted because they're all linked to the way the, the, the microsystem is. I'll give you an example. If every car has the ability to transmit data back to the insurer, you actually have customized insurance. You have a very different model of doing fleet management. You have a very different way of actually consuming that service. And of course, if if autonomous driving becomes important, you're actually you're starting to look at, you know, you know, mobility as a service because you're not really you don't even need to own a car or you don't even need to hail an Uber with a driver in it. And effectively, that kind of that's the direction we are headed in. Question is, it's you know, it's, it's not if, it's when, and I think it'll still be sooner than we think.